Uh, I don't think we're going to have any trouble with freezing temperatures once we hit April. Could be wrong about that. I've been wrong before. What's up guys, it's McMastodon, back here in my terraform craft house, and in the last episode, the very end, I managed to get myself uh, leather somehow, and I've got that going, and now I also have this uh, unrelated meat of unknown origin, and I was just going to fire up the forge, see if it works see if cooking this works where are you going there you go okay and uh and then i figured i'd i'd maybe uh make some sheets out of this these bronze ingots because then i can make a uh bloomery i think it's called for making iron or for smelting iron anyway so uh that's the plan i think that's good to go just gotta fire start it is fire start a verb Okay, it is fire started. And my best guess is the meat's gonna go much, much quicker. But holy crap. Yeah, the meat goes fast. That took like two seconds. Wow, all right. Well, I can eat now too. I don't know what kind of meat this is. I've never seen yellow meat before. Look at that. I'm doing all of the meat before any of the ingots are even red. Which reminds me. As soon as I get this other meat off, I am going to do the old inventory reduction technique that I should have done every other time I used the forge. Where'd that bone come from? Well, okay, so I went through a whole ton of charcoal, eight ingots, and I have four bronze sheets. That makes two double sheets. And I need eight double sheets for the bloomery. So I guess I need 32 ingots. And I started with like 14. So there's no bloomery in my immediate future. That much is clear. Uh, oh, well. I got pretty good at making the sheets. I got pretty good timing. And I cooked all the mystery meat. And I killed a whole bunch of time. So I think... The first stage of my leather making should be done. First stage is... Oh, it's already morning. It's definitely going to be done. The first stage is you need to... Yeah, that... I need to... Hmm. See, it's so tempting to just cut across. I like to lay out... Uh, I like to lay out, like, traffic patterns, places to go. I think this is going to be like a main path, like straight through here. So it's going to be a path, and I wanted to line it with fruit trees. I think I mentioned that before. But I found zero fruit trees so far in this world. I know I've mentioned that before. Uh, so, but right now I just want to like cut across and then walk across the ice. But I need to do that so that that's not so tempting. So I need to have a nice little path to walk down. So it's just, that path is so inviting, you just want to take it every time. So let's see, the first stage is to soak your hide in lime water. And I did that. So I have a medium soaked hide. And then this, I made tannin. You put a log in water and it makes tannin. So I think I need to scrape this with a knife. And I'm not holding a knife right now, so okay. Knife. It's been actually a while, yeah. All right, there's a pair of knives. Pair of knives sounds like a word. 
I don't think it's a word. Scrape. Scrape. Medium scraped hide. You are scraped. Uh, yeah, while I'm in here, let's do a little of this action. One, two. I didn't think of this before, but why not, right? Uh, anything else I should have in this room? I, you know what? I'll put my axe in here because that's where all my trees are anyway. So I'll probably be coming out this way to get trees. So might as well keep an axe here. Okay. So I have my tannin, tannins. I have my scraped hide. I think I put that in there and seal it. <laughs> no, that's not what I do. No, it's not. I need to make a bucket. Might as well make two. And I need to use a third barrel for water. Because I need to soak the hide. Then I need to put it in the tannins. Is that full? That's full. Seal. Yeah, can't open it. Okay, so I let that sit for a while, and then I come back. Uh, just waiting for my trees to grow. And I know in Terraform Craft that takes a long time. Particularly the birch. Where are the birches? Oh, God. Where are my birch saplings? Oh, there they are. Hmm. I want to make sure I get enough saplings, so you have to go back and to the left. Back and to the left. What are you, anyway? Is this an oak? It's an oak. Last thing I need is oak saplings right now. But I'll chop you down anyway. Can you always use logs? I have this thing where every time I cut down a tree, I take a sip of eggnog. Every time. Alright, well, waiting for the leather, waiting for the trees. As soon as I have leather, uh, there's a little adventure I can go on. But I can't really do that yet. Hmm, what's the temperature? That's F3 for temperature. 7. And it's the 1st of April. You know what, guys? It's time to start planting. Oh, but that's still frozen? That'll melt. Uh, I don't think we're going to have any trouble with freezing temperatures once we hit April. Could be wrong about that. I've been wrong before. Let's check out the nutrient level because I didn't leave anything. I didn't do it a very, I didn't lay it out very well. Um, everything's kind of replenished. Okay, that's low. I don't remember what I had there. These are all pretty good. So I just got to remember not to put a yellow plant in that first spot or that, you know, that one spot where it's pretty bad. All right, guys, uh, let me show you what I did. So I'm doing them in rows of three. So I wanted to get jute in first. I want this stuff. Uh, I want to make more ropes. I have like two ropes left. Actually, I may have one rope left now that I think about it. And that might just disappear uh, if I leave the chunk or I leave the chunk unloaded and then come back. Who knows if she's going to be connected anymore and if I'm going to remember to go pick up the rope if she does get disconnected. So, want more jute. So I put that in the ground first. So what I did was I went with B. It's a B nutrient plant. And then I did garlic here. That's all the garlic seeds I had. And these are all the potato seeds I had. And those three rows of C. 
and then I had tomatoes. I only had one wheat seed, and then these maize, and those are all A, so it's three rows of A. And then I can just shift everything down by three rows next year. So then I have onions and cabbage, and that's three rows of B. Carrots take up a whole thing of C, whole thing of A. And then I was thinking uh, I could sow this or, you know, hoe this out and move this doodad over. And, uh, and then I can have another row. But I'll leave that fallow for now. You know, I mean, hmm. it'd be cool if you could do that, but I can't. So I'll leave that for now. And then maybe I'll just start going down this other rate. So I don't know. These are the seeds I have left. Still plenty of seeds. But I think that's the way to do it. And ah oh man, I need to eat something other than meat. So grab some potatoes, some of that. I'm sick of tomatoes. And I have potatoes, so alright, that's some balanced food groups. And the extras. Carrots what are A? And Just, let me just get this out of my inventory. Okay. I think the leather should be done for the next stage. So let's go check it out. Okay, it's not frozen anymore. That's a good sign for the plants. Trees have not grown. Need some torches in here. That's not where I put it. Prepared, hide. Now I put it in the tannin. Yep. Okay. Whoops. Rice, B. All right. So everything is planted pretty much. Everything is pretty much planted. Looking good. Except for the fruit trees that aren't here. Let's go see if it's done. Hi, piggies. Hi, guys. Grow up fast, okay? That's the wrong barrel. It's not done. Do I have any new trees? Not the kind I'm looking for. All right, maybe I'll just do some uh, regular old maintenance. Some regular old home home improvement. Actually, maybe I should see if I have more than just the one rope on the one critter. Is she still attached? She is still attached. So I have a rope. That's important. And if I manage to pick up the rope that I got that one time, it's going to be in here. Probably in this, this one. All right. I have two jute fibers. I have some wool yarn. That's useless this point oh boy oh boy oh that's a huge bummer oh wait a minute maybe it's in here No. Ah, oh, man. Because this is where I would have been when the rope was lost. Oh, I better. You know, if I lose this wheat. No, don't do anything to it. Oh, 
that should definitely be in a vessel. Because that's the only way I have to lead animals around. If the, the what do you call it goes bad. If I lose the rope, that doesn't belong in there. Hmm. Should I make some meals? The problem with the meals, they're great in that they provide saturation. But they're awful in that they don't work in... Or they take up too much inventory space. And this is what? Ash? Do I have an ash pile? An ash pile! <laughs> what am I, a smoker? Uh, no. Not a smoker. Alright, that'll do. And saplings. Out of inventory. Sequoia fence. Alright, gotta make some meals here. Uh, where to begin? Pork. Haven't made anything with pork ever. What do you think? Pork and tomato? And blackberries. Pour 6.25. That's, I think that ties my record. So maybe I'll make like four of those. Maybe I won't. What did I lose? Cornbread. Yeah, bummer. What if I make barley bread? That's not gonna work either. I guess I gotta bake some more bread. What if I just put corn in it? Terrible. It's terrible. No. All right, got two pick kilns going. That is all. That is is eight new vessels. I, I'm i kind of low on vessels, so I just figured I'd make a crap load of them. Got eight going, so I don't need to attend to that because it doesn't have any like ores or anything that's going to solidify. I think I can go check the leather now. Hi, piggies. Grow up fast. Why did I just open that chest? I'm dumb. Leather. And it's light and tiny. All right, I have leather, guys. Now, I want to leave the buckets here. That's why I opened the chest. I knew there was a reason. Uh, anything else I want to leave here? No. The rest I'm going to take with me. Uh, I do need those ceramic pots. And do I need the rope? I... Do need the rope. Hmm. I need to pen her in. Okay, let's let's uh let's do this. Let's talk about dirt. Why you not grow? Is it because I just placed you down? I mean that was like two years ago. Just grow, buddy. That's kind of annoying. Oh, you know, it's spring. Let's check for berries. No. No. Are these pokey? Nope, they're not pokey. No berries. Wait. No berries. Finish. All right, it is done. Give, give me, give me all you got. Uh, you can't give me all you got because I don't have enough space. All right, that is a full inventory. But that's okay, it's nighttime, I need to eat. I will sleep, and when I wake up, we will go on an adventure.
Adventure! Here we go! Yeah, yeah, yeah. One man adventure! Not an expedition party! Just me! That's okay. We're gonna drink up. We're gonna close the door on the way out. Gonna finish this, and then I'll open up a little bit of inventory. Some water. Okay, I've got my prospector's pick. And I got a whole bunch of ceramic vessels. Because I think I remember somewhere around here finding magnetite. Or was it hematite? Maybe it was hematite. Something that has iron in it. And I remember thinking, I'm going to need that eventually. And I think it's off here by my old little hovel. Where the world isn't loading. Come on, world. You know, it's all the block updates for the, the snow. How am I supposed to know where I'm going? How am I supposed to find my little marker? Dear God, I could have walked right by it. A very large sample of magnetite. Oh. Yes. Wait, I went from very large to small in like two inches? Large? Very large. One, two, three. Large, very large. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right here on the surface, guys. Or very close to the surface. Show me magnetite. Show me not fitting in my inventory. Uh, just throw something. Rich magnetite. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Jack Pot. Ladies and gentlemen, we have iron. Should have done this a long time ago. Wasted my time with that limonite a couple episodes ago. That was stupid. Oh, goodness. Look at it. It's everywhere. All right, guys. Why are we on this adventure? First of all, boom. Birch. I can finish it. But more importantly, somewhere over here, there they are. There they are. We got cows. We got horses. We don't have rope, so we can't bring them all back. But guess what I do have? Leather. I have leather. Female. You know what? I'm afraid I can't ride her. I need rope. I think you need to have rope to, to break a horse in. Oh, I've just ruined everything. Well, I get the birch. And let's see if this is a male. Oh, I'm so disappointed, guys. It's a male, though. It's a male and a female. All right. And I get the birch. Uh, that's the really good news. But let's just do this. I think... I made a saddle. 
I made a saddle. That's useless to me right now because my rope all disappeared and my jute needs to grow. Well, I guess that's going to do it. In Terra Firma Craft, you need a rope to tame a horse. And I didn't bring a rope, so I can't come back with a horse. Even though I planned to come back the whole episode with a horse. So, I guess that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, please leave me a like. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. I'm McMastodon. This is Terra Firma Craft. That's a horse. And I'm out. Alright, here's what we do. Wait for the juke to grow. Make some ropes. Go back and get the horse. There's a bunch of stuff I need, so I need horses. I feel like I can travel a lot quicker if I have horses. So I've wanted to get horses. No! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What are the seeds? No! 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 Oh. Talk about adding. <laughs>